I have a snuggly hippo for you. I, what? It's actually too big to fit in the frame because this thing is huge. Whee, super hippo. Hi. Hi. <laughs> why did, why, what? What? Super. I, I, you know, I figured everybody was getting bored with like the same rotation of hippos. So I grabbed an, a different one today. That's all. The hippo rotation. It's usually like Hibernian hippo back there or big creepy eyes hippo. You know, there's like three that I use a lot. So I figured I'd change it up a little bit. That's all. So that's the way. By the way, thank you for retweeting it. I put the call out on Twitter that I totally want somebody out there to design me a uh. costume. I need it. You know, I just, well, I mean, I, I don't think anybody's going to be able to make it, but I just want to know what it would look like. So I want, like, a hippo lantern costume. Something that I, as the hippo lantern, wear. Something family-friendly, because you guys are sick. How does that make any sense at all? What do you mean? How does that make any sense? Hippo lantern. D Derek even wrote me an oath. Of course he did. Derek uh, even is course. working on, like, uh, the Hippo Lantern Corps Oath. And I'm going to have an army of intergalactic hippos. This, you know what? DC will fucking pick up that comic, and it'll sell a million copies the first week. Watch. And I will revive DC single-handedly. <sighs> and then you'll be sorry, won't you, that you scoffed. You ready to do the news, Tara? I am ready to do the news. All right, let's see here. Where's the intro? Where's the here we go? Okay. Don't worry, I won't let Nash into the Hippo Lantern Corps. <laughs> Each week Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here. A little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And Crazy. We're not starting with Naked this week. Please, let's do something. I brought a different hippo. Let's bring some different stupid. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Okay. This one's... Everybody brace yourselves. This one's going to hurt a little bit. Bring Mammoth it. Lakes, California. Man takes hot air balloon flight suspended by his skin. Ow. A man took a human suspension to new. I have no links, sir. Wait. Oh, here it is. A man took human suspension to new heights this weekend when he allowed hooks to be inserted into his back, and then was lifted nearly eleven thousand feet in the air. Oh by God! A hot air balloon. <laughs> why? <laughs> I love that. That's my. That's my favorite response. Why? Why would you do a thing like that? Like, all right, fine. I get. I'm sorry. My glasses are like pissing me off. They're crooked. I get the people, well, I don't really get it, but I know, I'm familiar with the phenomenon of the people that, like, hang themselves from the ceilings on meat hooks until they cream all over the table, whatever, whatever gets you off, I don't judge. If you gotta masturbate to exercise balls or hang yourself from the ceiling or whatever, that's fine. You're, you know, keep your kink out of everyone else's business and it's cool, but, really, Why? <laughs> Why this? Why 11,000 feet where the air is really thin and you can't even breathe, suspended from, oh my god, ow. And what if they, what if his skin gave way? Fucker's dead, dude. No orgasm is worth that. Yeah, there, there's, there, <laughs> no orgasm's worth that. I'm sure, I'm sure someone out there would disagree with you, but... Let's hope that doesn't become a running theme, along with uh, no one wants to see your dick and there's nothing sexy at the Walmart. I, I'm just... Of all the things to do out there... No. I no think like this would probably be last on my list. I would bungee jump before I would do this. I wouldn't do either fucking one. I'm staying on the ground. <laughs> With no sharp implements driven through my flesh. Uh. Oh! No. 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 Just. Just fucking no. Well. 
to the Hipper Lantern Corps either. Well, um, I've got uh, I've got some good news this week. Um, no one stuffed anything in their pants. Yay! They stuffed it in their bra instead. Oh, well, all right. Well, women do that. Bra stuffed with meth worn into courtroom. Oh, that's not smart. 24-year-old Lake County woman appeared in court on felony drug charges with methamphetamine and a pipe used for smoking, said dangerous legal drugs, stuffed into her bra. Secret stash means Sarah Arlene Wilcoxon. Wilcoxon, man. Tough, <laughs> tough break there, darling. Um, she was already in the right place uh, for authorities to process her for a fresh drug charge and her probation violation, but she'll have to return to Lake County Superior Court to answer for the new charges when she is released from county jail. Didn't we have a guy who showed up for his drunk driving? Drinking case? a beer. Drinking a beer and already wasted? Only the difference here being, um, if you buy a beer, y- you're not going to go to prison for buying a beer. Um, well, depending on how old you are. Eh. But if you show up with a bra Proful full of meth. of meth, your ass is going. That'd be to an jail. awesome name for a band. Bra full, bra full of, meth. of meth. Yeah. Yeah. You're in a little slow mo here tonight. Am I? Yeah. Like, am I moving at slow mo, or am I on lag? Or you're you're frozen again. Oh. And it's because kind of moving. Let me try and quit out of instant messenger <laughs> since someone someone keeps sending me IMs even though I have an away message up saying please don't IM me. Is that helping? That would entail reading. Um, no. Let's try and reset my video. Okay, let's see. Although, bra full of meth lady, life of the party every time. There you go, now you're back. Life of the party every time. Yeah, kind of, because, you know, when you're just reaching Titties and meth, what's better than that at a party? Titties and meth. My computer is only about two years old, Dagris, but um, I have a lot of programs running right now, and I have a shitty webcam, because I just used the webcam that came with the Mac, so. And there's the other part of your problem. No. Hey, um, hey. Titties and meth. That's another great name for a band. That's a country song right there. But what the... Sounds just, like a country song. What the fuck? You go into court... Like loaded down. What? Maybe why she w- figured she was going to jail and she wanted to have a supply. Didn't realize they'd search her. <laughs> they kind of do that. They they kind of do that. Yes, they do. Let's see what else we have. All right, this one's just baffling. Uh, Lorraine County. Lorraine County woman was allegedly scantily clad, throwing mulch in Lee County. I've been oh. to Lehigh County. Lehigh? That's how, that's Lehigh? Okay. Lehigh, yeah. Uh, I used to, on my baton twirling regionals, used to be at Lehigh University. A Luzerne... There is nothing there. Luzerne County woman was taken into custody early Tuesday morning uh, after police say she was wearing only a towel as she threw mulch. At an air conditioning unit. Um, Pennsylvania State Police at Fogelville say Deborah Ann Hishkat, Hitchak, Hitch, Hish, his shack, something like that, uh, of Wapple, Wapple Wallopin, Wapple. Good Lord, name things English. It's Pennsylvania, dude. Uh, said she didn't know the homeowner or where she was. Police say she was highly intoxicated. Alcohol really? was involved. Yeah. Who's surprised? She I... Was in, she was wearing a towel. Maybe she just got out of a bath where she used some bath salts. Uh, I have been drunk, but I have never ended up someplace I didn't know where I was and thought to myself, you know what's a good good solution for the situation? I'm gonna huck mulch into an air conditioner. <laughs> 
You've also never thrown tennis balls at traffic. You don't I, know how fun those things might be until you've tried them. I, I think I'm going to pass on those, on those things. I kind of think your audience would be interested to see you video of you like naked throwing tennis balls at traffic. What do you say, audience? Yeah, they they be like they like to see a lot of things. They are gonna. <laughs> Next time we need to raise money, should Nash go out naked and throw tennis balls at traffic on video? Okay, Tara. If right you now it's breaking right about fifty fifty actually. Yeah, Tara. Looks like. Tara, sweetie, if you say that, I can do the exact same thing and say, "Hey, who wants Tara to flash the camera right now?" Who? The difference hands, is, hands, I don't give hands, a shit if these people are hands, happy. Hands. You make money off these people. I don't. I don't give a shit if they're happy. I. I kind of get off on their pain. So. No, there will be the only titties you people are going to see are Nash's. I'm sorry. Cute. Right. Just you did send me to a con. That's true. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'm still not flashing you, bitches. It's not going to happen. You're Catholic. You know guilt. I, I do. Actually, Irish Catholic is, is, is the more subtle shame. Speaking of church, the naked came. It did. How do I torture you? By not flashing you? They're claiming that I'm, I'm, I'm sadistic because I won't flash them. Yeah. How the fuck is that? Go watch porn! <laughs> <laughs> Fleshbot.com is right down the internet. All right. From Michigan, uh, Mount Morris Township. Naked man fleeing police runs through Mount, Mor Mount Morris Township Church during service. Churchgoers at Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church re received quite a surprise when a naked man handcuffed and fleeing police <laughs> ran through the church through service on Monday night. Uh, oh, oh no. Police say the man is late 20s is pulled over for loud music. The officer requests the man, who was fully clothed at that point, out oh, of the you, vehicle. You skips the most important sentence. Which part? Which one? Update. Incident happened while kids were, were rehearsing kids. for dance. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, you know what? Adam and Eve were naked in the Garden of Eden. They weren't handcuffed. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't recall the part sex shops called Garden of Eden than I can possibly count so I maybe don't, they were I don't recall a part of Genesis where Adam was running handcuffed away from God you know what that book's been translated so many times who knows what's been omitted by now and the Lord saith unto Adam get your, I mean, get your white ass back here I mean Eve was tempted by a serpent okay that's all I'm gonna say Oh, God, I'm such a bad Catholic. My mother's ears are burning right now. I can hear it. This is, oh, God, this is going to hurt. Uh, please say the man climbed a barbed wire fence oh. and lost his shoes, pants, and underwear. The man continued to run and climbed another fence <laughs> where he lost his shirt. What? Do you realize what just happened? Huh? We know how he came to be naked. We do. We have an explanation. Finally. This is a fucking first, I swear. An explanation for how naked came to happen. I, I'm good. But I that's I gotta cigarette. hurt like a son of a bitch. I think I need a cigarette. I'm all good. <laughs> I still that that's that's gotta be. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's it's gotta smart and leave a few marks. I would think. You're in the middle of church, and all of a sudden, here comes a naked Why man. Why would you run into the church? <laughs> I know. Even it, like and, you're naked and handcuffed. Why would the church? There's got a, it's a church. There's a Waffle House somewhere nearby, <laughs> and they're going to be a lot better prepared for that shit. <laughs> I can't dispute you on this because yeah, that's this is America, people. There is a Waffle House nearby. That kind. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's one of those things where you'd think you'd, you'd pause, but no, no, he did not. Oh, we have this one. 
This guy. This, this guy. fucking guy. Lorain County intoxicated man growls at deputies, claims Wolf scratched him. Really? Lorain County deputies can add werewolf to the hurt it all list. Over the Memorial Day weekend, deputies were dispatched to the Timber Ridge campground uh, after getting reports of an out of control male. While en route, the mail caller reported his, quote, best friend was being very violent with people and animals. When they got there, deputies took 20-year-old Thomas Stroop into custody for underage consumption. According to the incident report, Stroop initially growled at deputies, then later told them he was scratched by a wolf in the woods and blacks out when the moon comes out. However, according to the arresting deputy, Stroop appeared to have consumed, quote, copious amounts of vodka while at the campground. Let's see, which of these is too... Isn't there some kind of vodka with silver in it? Maybe that was the problem. Which of these is more likely? Um, that he is a werewolf, or that he was really fucking drunk? Well, there's an important question to ask that would determine that. Did he have a shirt on? <laughs> Everybody knows Taylor Lautner has taught us werewolves are unable to keep their shirts on. Uh, it's, it's, it's a physical impossibility uh, for them. So if he had no shirt on, then maybe, you know? I just, I, I, you gotta love... Or he was really fucking wasted. You, you gotta love how, how someone, their best explanation for their behavior and all this I'm, shit was... I'm a werewolf. How the fuck do you come up with that? that? That's the best your brain can come up with at that point. That's copious amounts of vodka, sir. Well, I've been scratched by a wolf. I'm raising all kinds of hell. Obviously. Obviously, I'm a werewolf. This bottle, empty bottle of vodka, totally irrelevant. Nothing to do with it. I, okay, I, I've got an, one more. Um, Only one more? Well, I could find more. Catherine, can I sent I sent you a few. All right, well, find me some of those then. Will you send them <sighs> to me? I, why do I send you things when I just wind up having to do the work twice? I don't know. Why do you? You're such you're such an inconsiderate partner. Hmm. While you're looking for that, this is <sighs> I am baffled by this headline. This is one of those just inexplicable man carrying dead weasel accused oh, of assault. Hokum, Washington. It was pretty amazing. Police say a man was carrying a dead weasel when he burst into an apartment and assaulted a man in Washington State. The victim asked, why are you carrying a weasel? Police said the attacker answered, quote, it's not a weasel. It's a Martin. (laughs) Then punched him in the nose and fled. I told you, man, it was a marmot. This sounds like some nihilist. They kept saying they didn't believe in anything. (laughs) Oh. And because I'm already quoting the Big Lebowski vagina. Had <laughs> to be done. Coitus? Um just what did- That's all I could think of when I saw this story is that it had to be like flea in a black unitard. This this sounds like a like a punchline to something, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. This sounds like a joke. So someone a guy with would a dead weasel you. walks into a bar. I I just and he, he, I like the last line. A Martin is a member of the Weasel family. The thorough. So that guy was fucking stupid anyway. He was <laughs> correct. He, I mean, yeah. Let, not only was he incorrect, not only was he an asshole, he was incorrect too. Yes. Why yes, would you? Perhaps more offensive. Bursting into someone's apartment with a dead weasel. This is another one of those Brad Pitt moments. Like, do you it know you're crazy? Like. Yeah, it sounds like it should be a euphemism, and yet, no. Like, it sounds like it should be a naked story that the editor it's, was just being really creative with, and yet, no. They no, it's a it. literal weasel. But yeah, that is, it. <laughs> like, are you just jerking off to Guns and Arrow, covered in green jello, thinking, I am really crazy? 
Police later found the 33-year-old man arguing with his girlfriend in another location and arrested him after a fight. He said he had found the Martin dead. Police don't know why he carried it with him. All right, I actually know a woman whose husband picks up roadkill on the side of the road because he does Native American art. And so if he will literally stop on the highway and like pick up roadkill to use the skins. But does he pick them up to bust into someone's apartment and punch them in the nose? I, I never asked. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry. I see something dead. I'm like, Ugh. no. Yeah, I'm usually inclined to not touch the dead thing. Okay, let's see. Um, Two more then. Alright, here. Do, 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 do. Oh, this one was horrible. I actually saw this one and I'm like, okay, I guess we're gonna do it. Do it! Man faked brain injury to get diaper change. Because we have to prove that this goes both ways. Because we did the nurse pretending to be, a, or the woman pretending to be a nurse running around giving people unsolicited enemas. A phrase I should never have to say. So I figured we should be reciprocal about it. I, a 23-year-old man pretended he suffered from a brain injury so an unsuspecting in-home nurse would change his adult diaper. Eric Carrier turned himself into police Tuesday after warrant was issued charging him with a decent exposure. Carey allegedly faked having severe brain injury that would require him to wear adult diapers. A nurse caring for him became suspicious. Um, detectives say Carrier placed advertisements on Craigslist requesting services from in-home nurses. Uh, in advertisements, Carrier allegedly posed as his father and said he needed help caring for his son, who suffered a brain injury in a car accident. He had no in disability. He wasn't in a car accident. Uh, when the nurse arrived, the father was nowhere to be found, and Carrier was at home by himself and acted as if he were disabled. The nurse stayed because father wasn't home. She decided she didn't want to leave him uh, without a clean diaper. He exposed himself and caused alarm to the nurse. He brought her there under false pretenses. Oh, yes. the, the audience finds the hippotherapeutic, so we're just going to keep her on screen for now. This is why when people tell me that, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm going through a divorce and I'm kind of single now and people are telling me, oh, you should meet guys on Craigslist. This is why I say fuck no. Because this shit happens on Craigslist. How is this sexy? How in, in what? I, I have yet to figure out the context in which Pooh is sexy, but like I said, your kink is fine as long as you don't bring in unsuspecting nurses. Leave the unsuspecting health workers out of it and just find somebody who wants to wipe your butt. It can't be that hard. <laughs> That's on Craigslist, too. <laughs> it's just a different link on Craigslist. Parts of my brain it's just a different are... Section. My, I, I feel parts of my brain boiling. I think that's just all the five-hour energy shots you've done. Just God, I why? Yeah, I know it's a thing in Germany. That doesn't mean I get it. I, I like I know it's a thing. And I know there are lots of things. Like people get off on a lot of shit. That doesn't mean no pun intended. <laughs> oh, that doesn't mean I get it. Oh, oh I know. That I didn't. Was, I really that was didn't bad. Say it. I know it wasn't intentional. That was bad. That was awful. I'm sorry. Ha, and what the thing did it never occur to this guy that perhaps get caught? Yeah, perhaps this may not be what's the word? Legal! You know, if you ask me, there is something wrong with this guy's brain. It's just not the kind of thing that prevents him from pooing independently. Mm. And finally, and I think this this one kind of is <sighs> Man's beard was cut. <laughs> Stuffed this in his mouth. This is an oldie, but fight. it's worth it. It's worth it. 
<laughs> he claims his beard was cut off and stuffed in his mouth, that he was ordered to eat it last May. That's the beginning of what one Lawrenceburg man says he and his brother endured, all because of a fight over a lawnmower. Harvey Westmoreland and his brother Joseph used to think highly uh, uh, of I know, they didn't cut his beard with the lawnmower, which was the first question I asked, too. Uh, my brother was call was cleaning out the stalls out there for Troy, you know, working for him. They called and wanted me to come around there, and when I got there, I realized they were already drunk. Um, Troy offered to buy it for me for $250. I paid 20 bucks for it. He thought I was trying to cheat him. <laughs> One thing led to another, and before I knew it, there were knives and guns and everything just went haywire. It uh, happens. Who hasn't had that happen? But West Worland's loss was more permanent. They cut my beard and forced me to eat it. Like you do. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't had a fight with their neighbor over the lawnmower and been like, you know what? <sighs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe these people, I, 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 maybe these people had just read Game of Thrones and they thought they were dealing with a fucking Dothraki and that they would like ruin his honor by cutting off his braid when he hadn't been defeated in battle. I. But yeah, there was a new development. Those people were charged, and now they have to pay five hundred seventy dollars restitution for the lost beard. <laughs> 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 so if you thought you were getting ripped off over the lawnmower. <sighs> Think about what they're going to cut off next time. I, I love the fact that this guy's going to have to put on his taxes $570, another man's beard. Yeah. Just, and that's it. How did they the value so it? traumatized by it. Like, you look at his face, and he looks so traumatized. How like, do they, they and, how do and you... he's still got plenty, the thing is, he's still got plenty of beard there. Like, was he ZZ Top? <laughs> how do you appraise a beard? I don't know how they determined that the beard was worth five hundred seventy. Did the guy? They get the guy from Antique Roadshow to come in and I check out his follicles that, and shit that, because that beard had been digested. And then we're back to Germany. <laughs> You're not going to do the donuts one because that's a nice little palate cleanser. All right, go ahead and give me the donuts one. Where is it? I sent it to you already. All it's right. the Cape Cod one. All right, uh, let's let's all right, let's finish on this then. It's a happy one, guys. You'll love it. Uh, three men were arrested. Oh, get the fuck out the way. Fucking ad. Fucking go the fuck away. Three men were arrested Thursday after allegedly robbing a Dunkin' Donuts on West Main Street. Uh, while mass and arms with knives and a hatchet to score a bag of donuts. The three men confronted two employees at the donut shop. One of the men had a hatchet, and the other two were carrying knives. Apparently thinking the workers were carrying home cash from the day's receipts, the man demanded a paper bag that was in one of the women's purses. The bag was filled with donuts, which the suspects took without looking inside. The men were captured on video. Police were able to track them down. They were charged with armed robbery. I mean, they did get donuts, so it's not a total loss. But I think there's an important lesson here. If you're going to rob a place... <laughs> Look only in the one bag. only one look in the bag make sure you're stolen what you intended to steal and yeah. not you know just some crullers you know after the after the they get into prison and people find out why that why they're there yep. i think i think they're gonna need different kinds of donuts they're gonna need those inflatable donuts for the yeah. chairs oh Cause. yeah it's like because you go in there like what are you here for i killed a man what are you in for? I stole a billion dollars. What are you in here for? Stole some stole fucking donut. donuts. At gunpoint with a hatchet. Your name is now Sally. <laughs> that would be really sad if they didn't even get donuts they liked. <laughs> Yo, yeah. There's like, not even a fucking jelly in here, man! <laughs> oh, man. They're all like the lemon poppy. Who eats those? I tell you what, though, I got, I got the, if I, if that happened to me, and the, the cops are fucking coming, I would be eating the hell out of those donuts. Right? At least eat the damn donuts. I know. Feel you're gonna get. Because the while. fucking cops are coming, I would be eating the fuck out of them donuts. Absolutely. Oh. I found that one really charming. I, well, except for you know the hatchet and knives and. Well, yes. Prison. 
it's kind of it, it it almost feels like a macaulay culkin movie like you've got these really scary criminals who are thwarted in a really comedic way and i appreciate that i appreciate when life imitates terrible movies <laughs> oh god well thank you tara good night everybody good night dear <laughs>